Hello and welcome to Chartmo. In this video we will discuss in more detail the stock charts tool which is part of Chartmo. If you haven't seen the introduction video of Chartmo, be sure to check out the link in the description below this video. It gives a brief overview of all the features in our new Chartmo release. The stock charts tool in Chartmo has been upgraded quite a lot. For example, you can view two charts simultaneously from one ticker, each with its own settings. And besides this specific feature, there are a lot of other possibilities to display results and to sort them according to your own needs. So without further ado, let's start with the beginning. The stock charts tool can be opened by clicking on the three dashes in the top left hand corner and then clicking on the tools tab under which you can find the item stock charts. To retrieve one or more tickers manually, it is very simple. You put them in with a space or comma between the different tickers and press enter. You then get the different tickers in graph or table form neatly underneath each other. From the map icon on the right, next to the ticker field, you can access previously saved stock lists directly, as watch lists and open positions and so on. How to create them, save them and open them again is shown in a separate movie. A tip, if you want to provide more space on your screen, just close the left main menu. Below the ticker field, you will find the classic display settings for the charts, each with their sub-menu, like time frame, type, period and lines. The small cogwheel icon shows some additional options. You can define your own specific time frame for a chart, for example. The blue plus button to the right of the tick field is the indicator and overlay field. And here you can add indicators and overlays to your charts according to your own needs. So for example, we choose the Arun oscillator with a standard look back period of 25 days. And normally it is shown below the chart, but as you can see, Chartmill offers the option to display the indicator above the price chart. I'm going to leave it below in this video. Click Add Indicator. Next to the Arun oscillator, I also use an overlay, in this case the bowling advance. The look back period is at 14 and we leave it like that. But if you want to, you can change the value manually. Click Add Indicator once again. Once you are satisfied with the settings, it is time to save them as a preset so that you can apply them at any time with one click. To do this, click on the Save icon next to the Folder icon. Enter a name, for example a room and bowling advance, and click Save. Your new chart preset is saved. Using this predefined chart settings is very simple. Click on the Map icon and a list will appear with your previously saved chart settings. Choose the preset we just created and the settings will be copied directly to your own current charts. Once you have a selection of one or more charts, you will see a blue bar with multiple options. On the left side of the blue bar, you can see the number of tickers or charts that are shown. The button next to it allows you to adjust the visual display of your results. Click once and a menu unfolds with a lot of choices. Besides the well-known charts and table view, now you can also view the results as a technical or fundamental report. A new feature is to display the results on the basis of analyst ratings, and in addition, the possibility has been created to display two charts of one ticker at the same time. This is very useful if you want to combine the week and the day graph, each with its own indicators and or overlays. In this example, the main chart is on a daily base and has the room and bowling advance indicator, while the second chart next to it is on a weekly base with some simple moving average on it. As mentioned, the secondary chart feature is only available in certain views. If you select Create Custom View, you will get the View Editor where you can select your default view for the Stock Charts tool. Mine is set on charts but you can change this by clicking the little arrow and selecting a different default view for yourself. You can even create your own custom view. Just click table view or tree column view and add the items you like to see. So here's a quick example. A custom tree columns view would at the left the stock chart, 
in the middle the earnings and estimates and to the right the revenue on a quarterly base. Enter a name for this view and save it. And now we can select this option under the view tab. The next step allows you to organize the results of your tickers or screens. Again, the possibilities are very extensive. For example, you can sort by their performance, specific chartment fundamental or technical ratings, based on the trend of the ticker, even on specific fundamental parameters and more. Feel free to try them all out yourself to get familiar with it. If you click on this little arrow, you can select how many charts you want to see per line. You can choose between 1 to 4. And if you want the charts to be bigger, you can do it by checking this box. On the right side of the blue bar, there are three more icons. The cloud icon with the arrow in the middle allows you to export results to a CSV file for those who would need it. Next to it is the position sizing tool. This handy tool ensures that Chartmill displays the maximum numbers of shares to be purchased, based on specific parameters set by the user. But this is a feature that we will explain in detail in a separate video. Finally, on the far right, we find the annotation tool for the charts. You can use it to add lines, figures and text to the graphs. If you click on the magnifying glass icon, you will get more information on the chart such as the open, high, low, close, etc. Saving a chart on your own local PC is done with the diskette icon. This concludes our video about the Chartmill Stock Charts tool. As mentioned in this episode, more how-to videos are certainly coming up. So be sure to hit the YouTube notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those. And if you like this content, we'd appreciate it if you could give us a thumbs up. So I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.